Um, yeah, so I was asked to uh, tell a bit about precious plastic. I've been involved for a while now. Um, firstly, if you wonder what's that smell, uh, earlier today I was testing out some uh, uh, very basic cooking stoves for Africa and seeing how they work. So that's why, why it's why I smell. <laughs> but um, we're not there uh, we're for precious plastic here. Um, and uh, Precious Plastic is an open source hardware initiative to make plastic recycling as simple as possible, trying to reduce uh, plastic waste. And um, I will tell a bit more about the background and why it is open source hardware. Um, so uh, these are a few of the machines that we developed that people can build themselves in maker spaces or bath labs or uh, in places around the city where they can start uh, recycling plastic themselves and in that way gain more awareness, create more awareness and also um, actually make new product out products out of this and uh, help out uh, start new businesses. And all of this started with Dave. Um, he started this project and he saw um, this amount of plastic on the beach. He didn't really like it. He didn't want the world to become more and more like this. Um, so he started thinking and uh, trying to come up with solutions to do something about this. And when he, he was then uh, graduating uh, and he was working on it, he tried to prototype some stuff and he found that it would be cool if you could reuse this material because it was laying everywhere and you could make strong, versatile products with this. So he uh, started working on it and he came up with this extruder that could melt the plastic and then uh, reshape it. So um, this was what he made. Uh, it heats up the plastic, the plastic comes out, and within five seconds it was broken. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, he quickly found out that he's not the best engineer and it wasn't really working. Uh, so he had a problem because he couldn't make the machines, he only had the idea. And at that point he could do one of two things. Um, shelf the project for a later point. Uh, let it gather dust and maybe come back later once he is like a proper engineer and knows how to solve these things. Um, or he could try to expand the team and grow, um, see if he could get uh, more people, because at that moment it was just tape and a whole lot of plastic. Um, so, yeah, he really wanted to um, change or, or fight plastic waste and this thing was not gonna help with that. So he decided to share his idea online. And by doing that, he was able to not only um, have him as a part of this project, but potentially uh, 3.2 billion people, the amount of people who have internet access, to contribute in big or small amounts of time or resources to help to develop this project, and probably one of these people knows how to build a proper extruder, so yeah. Um, and then I guess I am one of these 3.2 billion people, uh, so at one point I came across the project, I thought it was a nice initiative. Uh, initially I thought it was very bad, because it was never as efficient as the industry, but the more I read about it, the more I got interested, and decided to help out for a while. Um, and back then, we were just with the five of us in Helmond and we had to climb through this window to get some sunlight every day. And, but at least we were, we were trying prototyping some stuff and trying to make it better and um, gain more people around. And slowly but steadily this uh, group uh, grew and more people got involved. And we were still not really able to have a big impact. Um, but by now, uh, it's a group around 50 people in Eindhoven from all over the world who are now full-time working on this. 
And, um, but not only we have the group in Eindhoven, but there are over 14,000 places where people put a pin on the map and said, I want to get started, or I actually already got started, or I can help out uh, getting started. So you see it more growing and growing. And also we have around 70,000 people on a forum to help out, maybe share some knowledge. Sometimes they help out for a short time, sometimes for a longer time. And this really helps to bring it to the next level. And with this amount of people, we could go for something that would break in five seconds to a semi-industrial sheet press that can make big sheets of recycled plastic that can be used for the industry, but also for other uh, product applications. And we could also go from just one render online with a PDF to a whole book 